Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a developer product door by clicking on a part. So for starters you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you're going to head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. You now want to click back on the Home button and then you want to insert a part. And now this is going to be the part which the players are going to be clicking, which will then prompt them to a developer product purchase frame. GUI. You now want to go and rename your part to whatever you really want. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be calling this button, just like that. And you can really go change it to whatever you would like, but it doesn't really matter. But also make sure to go and anchor it. Then we want to click on the plus button next to our button and insert a click detector. Now that we've inserted the click detector inside of our part, we want to go and add a script. So now that you've inserted the script inside your button, you now want to go down to the description of this video copy and paste the code that is in the description, it's going to be called script1. Then you want to go back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. If you don't already have a developer product ID, you want to head over to our main game, you want to find our home bar up here, click on game settings, then click on monetization, and then we want to go into cre click create next to developer products. Now this has created our developer product, so we want to click on the three dots, click on edit, and then you can go change the price and the name of your developer product. Then we'll go and click save. So we're going to keep this as one Robux. So we'll go click save there. And then we want to go back to our game settings, monetization. And then we want to click back on the three dots and we want to click copy ID to clipboard. Then we want to close here. And then we want to go back to our script, remove this ID and paste in our new developer product ID. Now that you've inserted your developer product, you want to head up here, click on X to go save the script. So now that you've finished adjusting the code inside of your button, you now want to go and insert a new part and we want to go and rename this to product door. You can again change it to whatever you would like, but for this tutorial, we're just going to be changing this to product door, just like that. And because this is going to be our main door, which is basically going to open if someone purchases that developer product. So we'll just make it just like that. That should work and we'll set it to anchor. Now that you've created your door, you want to head over to your workspace, click on the plus button and insert a script. Then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste script 2, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the new code, you want to go and adjust a couple things. So where it says local developer product ID, we want to go and change this ID to our developer product ID and we want to make sure that this is the same ID which we used in the click detector or in our button script. We want to make sure, sure that the IDs are the same. Depending if you change the name of your part, you need to go and change product door to whatever your part that is going to be removed is called. And as you guys remember, our one is called product door. This is going to be the part that is going to be removed if someone purchases that developer product. So we want to go and set our name over here to product door just like that. So if a player successfully purchases a developer product, what will happen here, it will go from the part to the transparency and set the transparency of the part to one. It will also set the can collide to false, basically meaning the player can walk straight through the part. Then it waits five seconds and keep in mind you can go and change this wait time. You just go and change it right there, but for the tutorial, we'll be keeping it as five. Then after five seconds, the transparency is set back to zero, basically meaning it is a solid part and it is not see-through or invisible. And then it also sets the can collide back to true, basically meaning you cannot go through the part. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you wanna head up here, click on the X button, and then you wanna head over to your file and click publish to Roblox. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate, and if we go click on our part which has got the click detector and the script, you guys will be able to see that the developer product purchase page pops up, and then we are able to purchase the developer product, so we will go and purchase it for one Robux. Then the transaction page will happen, and as you guys can see, now our part has disappeared, and we're able to walk through where the part was. But as you guys can see, now after five seconds, the part has reappeared, and we are no longer able to walk through the part. If you guys do want to see more content like this, I really do appreciate it if you did consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one here every single time we upload. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord or create a ticket on my Discord server and I will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video.